time, I'm sure. Send us a soldier. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Assistant Minister for Social Services, Senator Fifield. Will the minister update the Senate on the latest milestone achieved by the National Disability Insurance Scheme? The Assistant Minister for Social Services, Senator Fifield. Thank, thank you, Mr. President, and I thank Senator Sheshulia for his question, as always. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I know that uh, you and all colleagues uh, will be very pleased to know that uh, last week uh, an important milestone in the NDIS was passed, uh, with the 10,000th participant uh, in the NDIS. Uh, I was uh, in, uh, Mr. President, uh, the the uh, the area of uh, Geelong in the Barwon trial site, uh, where with uh, Sarah uh, Henderson, the member for Karangamite. Uh, uh, NDIS staff uh, and NDIS participants, uh, we, we marked uh, this uh, important occasion. And, uh, on an occasion uh, such as that, uh, I did uh, acknowledge uh, the uh, cross-party support that there is uh, for the NDIS, as I think is appropriate. Uh, Mr President, um, there were some, some great stories uh, that we heard uh, about the experiences of uh, NDIS participants. There was a board uh, as you walk into the uh, Barwon trial site office. Uh, that had uh, cut out figures, and on those cut out figures uh, were written down some of the experiences of participants. One of them was a 57 year old woman uh, who was able to uh, move out of home for the first time uh, to, to live alone uh, so that uh, her mother uh, could be uh, more of a mother uh, and uh, less of a, a caregiver uh, and a supporter. Uh, a seven year old child uh, who was able to tie his shoelaces now, uh, a pair of, uh, of twins. Uh, who, because of the supports that they received, uh, are now able to ride uh, bikes together. Uh, these are the, the sorts of changes, uh, the sorts of positive improvements in the quality of life that we're seeing as a result of uh, the NDIS. Uh, and, Mr. President, um, as, uh, as, as impressive um, uh, as uh, the facilities of the NDIS are uh, and the great work of the staff and what we do collectively as a parliament, uh, none of it uh, has meaning. Uh, it only has meaning insofar as it improves the quality of life of individual Thank Australians. Thank you, Minister. Send us a soldier. Thank you, Minister. Um, can, the, can the Minister advise the Senate how the Commonwealth intends to progress the National Disability Insurance Scheme during this year? Minister. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr uh, President. Uh, as colleagues will know, there are currently uh, seven NDIS trial sites around the nation and, uh, as I said before, uh, 10,000 uh, participants. Uh, by full scheme, uh, there will be 460,000 participants. Uh, but the next stage is to uh, negotiate uh, the bilateral agreements between the Commonwealth and each jurisdiction uh, for how rollout will progress beyond the trial sites uh, throughout uh, each individual state and territory. Those negotiations uh, have started. Uh, they'll be concluded uh, by the middle of this year. Uh, and it's fair to say, Mr. President, that uh, although the end goal will be the same uh, in each jurisdiction, um, how each state and territory uh, reaches that point may, may differ. Uh, each jurisdiction uh, will have its own ideas and do have their own ideas uh, as to the best way to phase rollout in those jurisdictions. But uh, it will be uh, an important six months uh, as uh, we plan and prepare uh, for uh, the full nationwide NDIS. Thank you, Minister. Senator Sazelja, final supplementary. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, uh, will the Minister inform the Senate why budget repair is so important <laughs> for the NDIS? Minister. Uh, thanks, Mr. President. Um, I've, I've said it uh, before in this place, and I think it bears repeating, uh, that uh, good uh, economic policy and good social policy uh, are not alternatives. Uh, they're not in competition. Uh, they're, in fact, two sides of the one coin, uh, that you cannot fund and sustain a good uh, social policy uh, unless you have a good economic policy, and at the heart of a good economic policy is having a good budget policy. Is having a good budget policy, uh, and uh, all my colleagues on, on this side, uh, in their respective areas, uh, are making a contribution to uh, good uh, budget policy. Uh, Mr. President, uh, that's important because um, uh, the NDIS. Uh, needs to be, we all agree, something that stands the test of time, something that is sustainable. And while we make difficult decisions in some other portfolio areas, one of the reasons we do so is to make sure uh, that we will have the financial resources uh, to fund the NDIS uh, into the future. And this is all part of the government focusing on what is its core business. Thank you, Minister. Senator Abetz. 